we're going to be working on a wax design pumpkin. I'm going to show you how to draw one kind of out first and then how to uh, color it in with the wax design. First thing we're going to want to do is kind of make an oval. And you can use my oval templates if you need to. And so we kind of get the oval in the middle and then we want to kind of bring the layers out. You're kind of making him fat and chunky and that's what kind of gives him that illusion. So we, the bottom part you kind of keep them flat along this kind of flat. But the other parts you're going to kind of bring them out on the top a little bit more. And we're going to bring this last one over here. So we've got kind of our pumpkin going there. Bring my gum eraser and get rid of this guy here. Make sure you don't have any color on it when you do that. Like I've got the orange color there. Put that back in. So I'm going to be using, um, make this guy a little bit smaller right there as well. I'm going to be using orange and brown and green. Just basic crayon colors that you can find probably even in the 8-pack, but you guys know I mostly use a 24-pack. I'm going to be using my number 2 tool to start with. If you're not familiar with the wax design technique, go to my website, miriamjoy.com, and you'll see a YouTube link on there, and that YouTube link will take you to my site. And the first video on there is how to do the basics, or the featured video, and it'll show you that. So on this one, with my number 2 tool, the small end, I'm going to walk this down along that line just as far as I can get it. We're going to come over and we're going to do that other side. And actually I'm going to stop and do my brown first for my stem you know, because I can um, do my orange around the outside and it will not get in the way. And what I'm going to do is kind of do this in layers. And you can decide how wide you want it or how big your pumpkin is. And I kind of leave that uneven on top. Now I think that's good for the size of the pumpkin we have. So now you're, we're going to go ahead and finish. Now see, because we did the stem first, we're going to bring that stroke out a little bit further than we would have if we would have done the design of the pumpkin first. And I'm going to cheat here a little bit. Don't, you're not supposed to go back over it. I am working on paper. You can do this on a gourd. You can do it on all kinds of fun things. Whatever you think it needs. Be really careful if you're working on a piece of paper. I suggest a thick cardboard card stock so that it doesn't bend. But you don't want to land a drop on your paper. Because it is staining. and you're not going to be able to restart that with that stain or you can cover it over it with white. Now see how this little guy kind of went right here? You're not supposed to turn your tool and I turned my tool a little bit and I picked up wax that was in the back. That's what created that. So if that ever occurs you kind of know why. So we're going to come around here. And we're going to finish up this last one here. Now, if you want to come in before we finish this off and remove any of your pencil lines, be careful not to get on your wax because you will smear any of your color. So be careful with that. And you also can use, if you're working on a gourd, you could use your uh, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So, but we've just got these open spots now, so we're just going to come back in and we're going to fill them in with strokes. And I choose to go from the top. And if you want a smaller stroke, you can go down to the smaller tool. And this one's just perfect how you kind of go from a larger to a medium to a small. Now, if I'm doing just a regular pumpkin, Sometimes I will come in just to put some more dimension in the middle. Put one there and one there just to kind of fill that in and make it fun. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a leaf. And I'm going to switch to my number one tool, the small end, with my green. And I'm going to start up here. Another thing, if you wanted your pumpkin in the, or your leaf in the pumpkin, you'd do the leaf first and then the pumpkin. And I'm kind of making almost a heart shaped first. And then we're kind of adding each little leaf section as we go. I've tried different leaves and this is a, one of my favorite ones. So we've got that one and I'm going to do one out a little bit. And you start up next to that first stroke and that first stroke is your line down the middle of your leaf. And just keep building on them. You can make them fatter, you can make them more narrow, however you want to do it. That's probably my last one. We'll put one more right there. So we have three. Nature's usually odd, not even. If you're Trying to think about doing something, try to think of doing it in threes, fives. If you ever look at the leaves of flowers, they're always odd numbered. If you want to make some leaves for the fall, just change these to fall colors. Your yellows, your browns, your reds, whatever kind of colors you want to make those. Okay, so we've got our little leaves on. So I am going to come back in with my wax liner here in just a moment and add some acrylicues and a couple of little dots too here and there. Those kind of make it um, kind of rustic looking or fallish looking. If you ever look at leaves, they kind of got speckles everywhere. So that's one thing that we want to do. My wax liner, there's also a video on that if you haven't used it. You want to warm it up really, really, really well, um, longer than your regular tool. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to give some spirals. Now one thing that I have a problem with is I always want to overdo the tentacles. So if you need to draw them out with your pencil first, do that. But then I was talking about some of the little dots. You don't want too many, just enough. And you always can bring some up from the bottom just to kind of give it a fallish look. And add some little dots there. And let's do one more right down the middle. So we've got a real basic pumpkin going here. But there's so much more you can do with it. Um, you can change the colors a little bit from one to the other and get a little bit more red-brown in there. And, you know, just add to them. This is more of a fallish one, Thanksgiving. So you can use that in your Thanksgiving background. Just add your leaves to it. You can simply change your pumpkin into a jack o lantern by putting a face in it. On these, it didn't meet all the way. Instead of putting a stroke in there, I used the wax liner with the orange. And then I just put the basic face on. You can put it on with wax design, or you can put it on with your wax liner, or you can even put it on with a uh, black permanent Sharpie. That's up to you. But think about different shapes. This guy's fatter and taller and um, smaller on top. This guy is a little bit taller as well. So think of all different shapes that your pumpkins come in as well. And see how we have the different fall leaves just by changing the colors of our leaves to a different color. So just make it fun. Have fun with it. We have a bunch of different Miriam Joy patterns to help you with the process as well. So check them out on our website at uh, www.mariamjoy.com and I hope you have a great fall.